If you want to feel rich, company gifts you have money can't buy. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So what are we looking at today with these cryptocurrency markets? Wow, we're looking at some volatility over here. It looks like today's one of those roller coaster rides where if you're new to cryptocurrency, you're definitely checking out your USD balance every 15 minutes and freaking out a bit. Please stop. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I'm sure post new year here, the price will be definitely stabilizing. Um, I think that we might have an, a, a little bit of a situation where people are trying to take you know, they invest the, their investment, you know, so they can just be working with profits or they're trying to take some, you know, profits out of and this is the end of the year. You know, you want to get your money right. So and they're trying to get it before it's taxes and all of that kind of stuff, because you're going to have to file with it. Right. Especially if you've made any large sums of money, which kind of like most of us have. Right. <laughs> so let me see. What do we got here for the cryptocurrency market? Well, we got $548 billion for a market cap. Looks like we're down about, you know, $60 billion on yesterday or so. But, I mean, it'll come back. It is no big deal. This stuff is pretty volatile. That's why everyone's always warning you about it. Not to invest more than you're willing to lose. And, as I say, don't invest more than you're educated to be able to handle. Uh, we got $29.5 billion trade in the last 24 hours. That's really not that bad of a number. And we got the BTC dominance dropping a little bit again, coming in at 43.8%. But I'm still not really concerned. Uh, so, as I look down through the market here, it looks like we got double digit losses pretty much across the board on a lot of this. Uh, Bitcoin's coming in down 11.5%, $14,330. I'm still not worried, guys. It's okay. Just relax. Don't, you know, don't let this stuff work you up. Don't, don't start trying to trade this. The price is very volatile. You'll probably just end up losing unless you're, you know, a qualified professional. And then if you are, you're probably not checking out my 10 minutes broadcast. Uh, so we got Ethereum coming in at $711. It's down 8.1%. Really not that bad considering that, you know, Bitcoin's down 11%. We got Ripple still continuing to gain. Definitely has to do with the fact that the Asian markets are going to be picking this up. The fact that this may be on Coinbase. The fact that this is, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. We're looking at $1.34. That's up 4.9% at the moment. We got Bitcoin Cash coming in at $2,579, dropping 13.3%. Um, you know, this is bound to be happening. I, I don't know where the bottom is on this one. So if you're sitting there trying to, you know, work your Bitcoin Cash to make some more money, you got to keep your ear to the ground on this one because it's even extra volatile. Uh, we got LTC coming in at $249. Uh, that's down 11.9%. Not too bad considering it's pairing with Bitcoin right now. Uh, we got IOTA down, let me see, 15.8% coming in at $3.34. Uh, that's really not that bad because I've been saying that IOTA should be valued around the mid $3 area because that's where I've been seeing it every time it pumps and dumps. Uh, let me see, we got Dash at... $1,080. That's down 11.7%. Uh, we got NEM coming in 86.4 cents. That's down 9%. Uh, that's really not that bad. 9% considering Bitcoin's down 11. NEM was hurting a little bit yesterday. Let's see if they can't maybe make a little more gains on this today. Uh, we got Monero coming in at $367. That's down 11.4%. Uh, Bitcoin Gold at 281. That's down 7.3%. Zcash or Ethereum Classic, the underdog, uh, 2974, down 8.4%. Let me let me see we got zcash rolling up at 500 dollars even that's down 12 percent and mona coin ten dollars 48 cents that's down 10.5 percent and steam ooh, hurting there a little bit down 17 percent two dollars and 71 cents i was enjoying it over three dollars i do have to say and the steam back dollar is down a little bit today you probably don't want to dump any of those if you got any coming in at seven dollars and 54 cents we've been seeing it around nine bucks lately so well, I mean, just, you know, don't freak out. Hold on. Just, you know, try to enjoy the fact that this is the end of the year and that you probably got some family nearby or start working on those New Year's Eve plans because, you know, we all need a break and a vacation. And I mean, you know, it's always nice to go out and have a good time and bring in the new year right. So, I mean, just kind of set this stuff aside. Know that you're a smart individual who are being invested in it already. And, you know, just keep listening to the news. So speaking of news, what do I got today? Coffee's pretty good, though. Uh, well, I mean, John McAfee's been on Twitter pumping and dumping coins, uh, you know, and everyone's been kind of taking that one for a ride because if he says something about a coin, it, like, instantly goes up. We all seen red coin shoot up 200-plus percent because of the situation. Uh, well, it looks like his Twitter went and got hacked. I mean, so, I mean, that was a valuable asset, and somebody knew it. They went ahead and tried to grab a hold of it. Um, you know, I think that he's reclaimed his account already. I had just heard about this a little bit early this morning. Uh, I mostly found that it was pretty hilarious or humorous. Uh, that And also, 
I'm always saying you got to be careful out there because people are trying to get your Bitcoin and people are trying to hack your accounts. And I mean, that's kind of one of the ways they go about getting your Bitcoin is they get into your Google account and your email and everything so they can get into your exchange account and all of that. Uh, so let me see, what else do I got? Oh, Bitcoin Diamond phishing attempts, they're up already. They're starting to pop up left and right. You gotta be very careful. Don't go do anything with your Bitcoin. You're gonna lose it if you're trying to claim that Bitcoin diamond. Um, you know, like I said, this is going to be continuing. As we have these forks continuing to come out, we're going to have phishing attempts and scams that are pretending to be the forks to get you to put in your private key saying that they'll fork it off for you because everybody wants to quickly jump on the market and collect their extra BTC from these forked coins. So please don't fall into the green-eyed monster of greed and accidentally send your private key to somewhere you're not supposed to and then you wake up and you find that your Bitcoin is gone the next day. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? Oh, okay. Russia, uh, they're proposing to set some regulatory limits on these ICOs. Um, you know I'm not really for the ICO, so I'm not really swayed one way or the other, but they're trying to put out some regulation, see what happens with it, and they're looking to see if they can't put a cap on it at $17.3 million per ICO, and they're also trying to put a cap on how much, um, unqualified investors so i don't know how they're going to determine that i guess if you're not a professional trader they're going to call you unqualified which i don't think is very fair but they're going to put a cap on it of like 864 dollars uh not really all that much of an investment considering how much people have been investing in these icos uh so i mean it's going to be a you know a moment to see what happens with this you know regulation always takes a little while but i mean 2017 has definitely been the year of icos maybe they'll die out a little bit in 2018 we don't really know or maybe we'll see a whole new set of icos on another platform um and the last little bit of news I got is, I mean, we all are keeping our eye on South Korea and what's going on over there. I mean, their exchanges are getting hacked. I mean, they're buying Bitcoin at like seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000 right now. Uh, we're possibly feeling like there could be some sort of situation where they put a lot of regulation on this or ban Bitcoin altogether. And it looks like we're starting to see some limited market action and that's what's driving the price so high over there. Uh, so, I mean, you gotta keep an eye on it. I mean, it could end up having some overall effect on the Bitcoin market, but I'm sure it would be short lived and we've already went through something like this with China. So if, I mean, South Korea sees a ban, which I'm pretty sure they won't, I'm sure that we'll just see limited regulation that slowly unveils as we move through 2018. But I mean, they are leading towards the side of caution, which is always wonderful. So if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and coffee, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I mean, these numbers are growing around here. That's absolutely fantastic. As always, I got a list of tools down there below for you guys to check out, see if it can help you on these Bitcoin markets and all Ethereum, Litecoin, everything else that's going on out there. Make some good investment, diversify your portfolio so you can protect it on days like these when Bitcoin's going up and down. Um, as always, I got my free help desk service at eugeneforrest at 20 at gmail.com. If you're new, if you got questions, don't be shy. Shoot me an email. Uh, absolutely free service. I'll hit you back, let you know what I think, what I can do, you know, maybe point you in the right direction. And as always, I got those donational addresses. And I got to say thank you for everybody that's been coming over to Steam and upvoting me and doing all of that. It is absolutely amazing. You guys are making such a big change in what's going on here with this channel. We're going to be looking towards uh, our new place here at the end of January. And we'll We'll be shooting from our new location in North Florida when that happens. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully, we'll be back to an outdoor scene. Um, you know, it's pretty country out there, so we might be doing some chickens and stuff again. I know you guys really love that here on the show. So, as always, remember, keep your BTC safe.